In this video, we are going to discuss the design of an efficient trough. Troughs are intended for the scrapping of dishware by multiple operators to keep up with the demands of a large dish machine or soak sink. Please note, the suggestions in this video are for salvador systems since they recirculate water. This solution is not for a freshwater trough since it is only supplied with a constant flow of fresh water. To begin, let's talk about length and width of our trough. Salvador troughs must begin at a minimum depth of 3 inches to allow for the trough diffuser. A fall or pitch of 3 32nds inch per foot is recommended, so a collector is limited to a length of around 11 feet because the trough enters the collector basin at a depth of 4 inches. The trough veyer, on the other hand, has an entry into the system of 7 and 3 8 inches deep, so the length is more versatile. Both systems should have a width that allows dishware to set down into the trough. 12 inches is a good standard. A wide trough combined with gusher heads placed 3 to 4 feet apart will improve the efficiency of the scrapping process. It is important to note that a maximum of three gusher heads is recommended. Troughs and basins should be located as close to the front of the table as possible. This allows easy access to the control panel and on the collector, it makes the basket more accessible for the operator to empty. A trough can be used on virtually any shaped table. However, when making a change in direction, the outer corner should be mitered to improve the flow of water and waste. Whichever type of table is used, a minimum of 6 inches is needed between the beginning of the trough and the wall or sink to allow for the plumbing of the trough diffuser.